Small business owners are starting up. Some of the questions they have are, how do I connect with my customers? How do I reach my very first customers? How do I display my catalog? How do I showcase my products and services? How can they get back to me if they have any feedback? These are some of the questions that really give them sleepless nights when they're starting up. Some of them can actually give up just at the thought of such questions. Now, there's something called WhatsApp for Business. Many of us haven't heard about it, but it's been around for quite a while. This is a solution that has really changed the game for small business owners. Let's get into it. In January 2018, WhatsApp for Business was launched. We can already see that it has 100 million downloads. I've already downloaded the application on this phone and I'm simply going to show you how it works. As soon as you open the application, you'll see that it doesn't look any different from the original WhatsApp that we are all used to. We can see chats, status, calls. Now, there are three dots here that you have to go to at the extreme right. We will see things like business tools. Uh, then we can see labels. Labels is one of those things that I've found uh, unique with this type of WhatsApp. Straight away, if we dive into business tools, we will see that something called business profile, catalog, aware message, greeting, quick replies, labels. Now, these are things that we do not have on the original WhatsApp that we are all used to. Right away, let's dive into business profile. Under business profile, right away we will see that we have business information down here where you can edit the name of your business. Say if I could put um, one, two, three um, classics. Well, if that's a business name, let's assume that's a business name. When you do that, it will ask your business name will be changed. Those are some of the notifications that come about when you intend to change the business name. However, let's cancel that out. This uh, channel is called Lear Media UG. It also specifies uh, content creation business, like you can see down here. This one you can as well edit. Uh, then you have to specify the category under which your line of business falls. I, I presume this is under arts and entertainment. It goes on further to show opening hours. We can see Sunday is open here. I could go as well and uh, edit that and save so that Sunday stays as closed indicate your email address right down here then any other websites that you think are relevant still under business tools there's catalog you can go tap the plus button populate this with information regarding an item that you're selling and then save we also have our message you can customize a message that will always go back to your clients in the event that you can't get back to them soonest so i had written something down here thank you for your message we are unavailable right now but we'll respond as soon as possible there is greeting message this is the message that usually welcomes your first time customers or visitors it also triggers itself every 14 days in the event that these people get back to you in 14 days it's also an interesting feature right there then there's quick replies in my opinion, I think quick, quick replies is uh, the most interesting feature of, of, of this application. You can, you can write keywords that will enable you to respond to messages of customers that require more or less the same response. For instance, if most of your customers ask about the same thing, you don't have to rewrite everything that they need to know. So you can as well have this information written and then you create a keyword that will allow you, as soon as you type the keyword, to be able to retrieve that message and you send it right back. I can demonstrate this, I've done this before. So for instance, when we go to William right here, if I want to say thanks, I could simply do that. And uh, I start with, uh, with that slash. Then as soon as I put the keyword thanks, it will more or less autocomplete. And then I'll be able to send this text message, rather this WhatsApp message. Uh, to William. Right now, I'd want to show you some examples of friends of mine that have been using WhatsApp for business to take their businesses to the next level. Our good friends at Cake Nation are users of WhatsApp for business. I'll take you right through their catalog and you'll see what they have to offer. We will tap that, then we will see Cake Nation, Bakery. Uh, we will see the categories that they have, custom birthday cakes, wedding slash introduction cakes, ready to go cakes via MTN Pals, small treats, 
children's cakes. Let's just look at maybe wedding slash introduction cakes. When we tap that, we will be able to see the cakes that they have to offer. We will simply continue to scroll through and see um, the types of cakes that they have. The price is already indicated down there. We can see this is 500,000 Ugandan shillings. Uh, you could go ahead and add this the cut to your cut. Then like you see, it's already indicating right here, you have one item. You could still go ahead and message the business if in the event that you want to make some inquiries just to understand how long the cake will take to make why do you want it delivered is it is it okay for you to go and have a look at it or even do some cake tasting uh, things of that nature we have another friend who deals in duvet shout out to caroline we can see uh, she's called the duvet lady uh from business phone number is indicated we can see uh, she deals in new bed sheets first class second class second hand duvet and bed covers and everything that you see down below obviously her category is shopping and retail the opening hours will show up here if you go to the drop down it will show you the hours that she's open and those when she's closed when we go up we'll see the email address it's clearly indicated uh, she could she added her facebook page as well you can click that and head to her facebook page right down here we'll see the catalog so when we get into the catalog just like the cake lady, we'll see what she has right here. She's got this duvet 4x6 at 60,000. You can as well hit message, then make any inquiries if you want it today or how soon can you get it, things, things like that. Last but not least, there's a section here that reads, reach more customers. There is a link here, a short link. When you tap that, you'll be able to see a link right here. When you long press on this link, it will copy itself. This is a link that you can share on any website, on Facebook, on any social media platform. You can even share it as a status update on your WhatsApp so that people can jump right into your WhatsApp for business catalog. So this is very interesting. I find it as a, a game changer. And if you haven't really tried out WhatsApp for business, Please, I encourage you to try it out, especially if you're a small business owner. Probably you're starting up or you're stuck and you want to step up your, your hustle. Now we've seen all the advantages, all the cool features of this application. Unfortunately, not all businesses are permitted to operate a WhatsApp for Business account. Now, when you look at the WhatsApp legal commerce policy, it clearly states items that cannot be, uh, cannot be uh, had to this application the state drugs whether prescription recreation or all otherwise those can't be tobacco items and related paraphernalia all those can't be a host of other things i can see alcohol right here unsafe ingestible supplements a host of things for instance if you're running a pharmacy obviously you won't be able to operate this sort of account we've tried it here in uganda and um, it, the account was banned for a couple of months so i think you really need to at these policies and see if any of these things prohibit you from having a business account now if this is the sort of material or content that you'd want to listen to please consider subscribing to this channel um, for returning subscribers i really appreciate that you're back uh, please thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video bye bye